Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to War Thunder, this time with the Panzer 2, no not Panzer 2, Panzer 4 F2, that one. Uh, this thing is quite a nice machine, if I'm completely honest. It's, uh, it's, this is one of those tanks that you learn to play, um, <laughs> You can't really play it like a heavy tank. It, I know it's a medium tank, but people forget that this thing isn't as heavily armoured as the KV-1. Um, this thing is basically, it's got an absolutely monsterish gun. That gun on the front can penetrate anything that's on the battlefield at quite, far, at quite long ranges as well. Um, KV-1 and T-34s quite often struggle to penetrate such at uh, such distances as the Stug and the Panzer can because of their gun size and their, the length of the barrel etc etc but they are still good tanks but I'm learning to play this a bit I've been playing it a lot with um, NTAC lately because I'm, he likes the F2 a lot and I haven't really played the German line at all I've, I've mainly been playing Russians so uh, this th this was new to me, but I think I found my new favourite tank because <laughs> it <laughs> it can one shot things quite easily. Um, not a bad little. It's quite fast. The only problem is you've got to angle. You have to angle your tank, otherwise you will be penetrated and modules will be hit and you drivers and crew members will be killed. Uh, its side armour isn't particularly good. Um, turret armor not all that either I mean that there, there's reasons why the, the turret is sloped and angled for a reason you know it, it's decide it's designed to deflect shots and that's what you have to do with it you can't just sit there in front of a tank you have to keep moving you have to keep angling that armor but apart from that this is an absolute beast of a tank um, for any of you who haven't gone to the um, tank server or haven't been given access. This thing is a definite thing to to watch out for because it it, it can really perform extremely well. Uh, I'm I'm pleased with the performance it has right now. Uh, since last week, um, this was actually recorded on Saturday, so it would have been two weeks ago now. The uh, the the way that the tanks move have been changed. They've got a bit more flow and realism to them because before they used to bounce around quite a lot uh, because the you know obviously it's a beta the physics aren't all you know perfectly fine you know you can roll tanks etc like that but personally I quite like, I enjoy doing that I quite enjoy rolling enemy tanks with my KV-1 but apart from that it's it the physics are slowly improving you can feel the weight of a tank now uh, you can see the speed and kind of what its maneuverability is like. The T-34 is a fast nippy tank. This thing's quite a fast nippy tank, but it's got a monstrous gun as well, but not as good armor as a KV, uh, KV-1 or a T-34. The T-34 has got the same round. I think it's got slightly better armor, I think, and it's slope, so it can def deflect shots a lot easier than the uh, Panzer can. But if you're close range and you've got, well, any range, and you've got a, and you've got a perfect shot on any of the Russian gun point, uh, gun points. Uh, a, basically the machine gun ports um, on the front and possibly on the back of the KV-1, I'm not sure, I'll have to try that. Um, you, it's basically a one-shot kill because it'll go straight through that ammo port, straight into the ammo racks. And for some reason, the Russians haven't obviously, you know, got conned onto what, what's going on. So if you're in a Russian tank, I would highly suggest that you angle your tank away from that gun port so he doesn't get a clean direct shot at it because it's extremely important because otherwise you will be killed and it won't be very fun for you at all but yeah I mean I'm enjoying CBT a lot lately um, I'm having a lot of fun playing the tanks uh, I hope they bring out a few new maps and give us the ability to play some sort of a higher tier aircraft because playing biplanes is just not given the right feel at the moment because at the end of the day these things are um, these things w would have been going up against Stukas and stuff like the um, I don't know the SU-2 or for instance the I-16 stuff like that I, I would like to see on the German aviation uh, tech tree that they add the Stuka the first Stuka in uh, at some point so that we can start getting used to the speed of a monoplane 
and how it would perform at low level, getting used to bomb tanks, etc., etc. I mean, it looks a hell of a lot of fun because they did it at Igramir. They, has to, they had the Stuka in the I-16 at Igramir, but they didn't have it in the release of CBD, so it kind of confused me a little bit. But I hope we get to see some new aircraft. It's weird I'm saying I hope to see we get some new aircraft. But I do actually want to test the ground, uh, air and ground coalition because it, I think uh, air and ground working together, for instance, uh, ground put, tell them where the, uh, the enemy is in the grid reference in the map below. I think that would be an absolutely brilliant idea, personally. Um, obviously, I'm looking forward to more tanks. I'd like to see a few new Russian tank destroyers, such as the SU-85 and the SU-100, stuff like that being put in. I would guess that they're going to be a Tier 2, possibly, tank destroyer. Um, ISU-152, definitely looking forward to that. King Tigers, Tigers, Shermans, I'm looking forward to all of that. I do wish they put um, some sort of new line coming in. I would like to see that coming within the next few months. Possibly the American line. It would make a lot of sense because, I mean, you know, Germany went up against America as well. So I would I would like to see that. I would like to s test out some Shermans, uh, some, you know, some uh, Hellcats, stuff like that. That would be absolutely brilliant to see. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely joy enjoying the game at the moment. It's, it's, it's very good fun, and I can see this catching on really quick. Once the um, it goes into full release... Uh, by the way, guys, I don't think that'll be for a while for any of you that are asking anyone. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be quite a while before you you're able to uh, e even you know before they announce it. I would say it's at least another two three months because uh, at the end of the day it is a closed beta and they've only got two lines in at the moment. They still have to add all the rest. So at the moment, I would say it's gonna be a while. But apart from that. Um, I, I guess you could probably see the tanks coming in soonish, but eh, it's going to be a while. It is definitely going to be a while, but I'm looking forward to it. It's it's going to be good fun testing out the whole realistic battles where aircraft are going to be starting at the airfield, and then you're going to have your tanks, columns. I think that's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, trying to find enemy tanks with aircraft in realistic battles. That's going to be absolutely brilliant. Uh, by the way, I have been playing a lot of realistic battles with the actual tanks it's themselves. Um, that's great fun. I'm going to be getting footage of that for you soon. But apart from that, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to click that like button below. Subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder Ground Forces and normal aircraft gameplay. Um, comment in the section below what, what you're looking forward to in CBT, etc, etc. Anyway, guys, take care. I'll see you next time.